I had to take a break. Had to go get a drink. Calm my nerves. Not nerves. Calm my chi more like. Oh my god. Fucking shit. Cocks and dicks and bitches and sucking fucking suffocation. And... I'm murdering fucking cat slogans from Looney Tunes. And I just, I want to just murder. Like if that bird was with me, if Tweety Bird was here right now, Tweety Bird would be dead. Tweety Bird would have to suffer my goddamn wrath. Okay. I don't actually know how many hits I got there. He's either one or three hits away from death. Okay. So I'm actually kind of curious here. Do you think? Let's just see what the fuck happened. You know what? No, 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 no. Save a new one. So that way I can try the I can try this again if I want to with two lives. But let's just. I mean, that's kind of cheating though. Eh, whatever. Well, I give a no, look. I can give a fuck. Okay, so I thought I could hit him, and then I thought I was gonna die. So all I gotta be careful of right now is... I fucked myself there. Oh, okay. see, yeah, that, that's what I mean. It's like, right now, it's more about... Um... Could you actually, I think, like, technically, you could probably save moment to moment. And just, like, you get a hit, save real quick. But, yeah, like, that shit, this is shit that you can't really react to. You don't, you can't really, um, you just have to, you just have to do it. You just have to experience it and know, like, oh, okay, two hits are going to be coming here. So, I wonder if, like... There is a maximum range. So I can just... Okay. So I think I can just play it completely safe. Oh, he's walking now. But yeah, it looks like I can just play it safe. So does he do it like, it looks like maybe he alternates patterns? I mean, I'm also entertaining the possibility. No, yeah, it just looks like he alternates patterns. And is he gonna jump here? Again? There's gotta be something else coming up. There's no way a final boss, even in a Sonic game, is going to be this simplistic. Okay, I wasn't sure if I was far enough away. <laughs> is it really? Is it this is this is it? There's got to be something. I mean, like there's got to be something that he'll do when he's walking along because there's no danger there. There's nothing like, as long as I play it like this, I am in literally zero danger. And sure, it's gonna take a while. But it's better than getting shanked by those tiny little T-Rex arms. That was a bullshit death. Yo, that was legitimately a bullshit death. Why didn't I bounce off him that time? Like, that's uncontrollable. If that happens, I'm straight up going to die and there's nothing I can do about it. Because I have no rings, obviously, so I'm going to hit that arm. So I guess there's just a point, like, I have to wait. I can't jump immediately or else that shit's going to happen. That sucks, because that was... It was like... Three minutes of effort right there, just wasted. Wasted away, all because the game... Just a poorly coded moment, I guess. Oh shit, I forgot! I'm too busy bitching, I can't be paying attention to how the boss is supposed to do shit.
Think you can actually jump up high enough to hit him here? Like when he has his uh, nope. Whatever. It was it was worth an attempt just to see if I could do it. See if I can make that fight faster early on. I was just hoping like when, when he steps forward and retracts the arm that's closest to you, maybe you would be able to jump up and hit him. But that's a big fat no. Ooh, I thought I might have fucked myself there. How many hits this dude takes? Oh, that's right, we're on walk. My bad, my bad, my bad. Say, I hope I didn't fuck myself right there because <laughs> I got him a little bit closer to the edge of the screen. God damn, how many hits does this guy take? Like, he's got to pull out something new, like, on when I get him one hit away from death. There's no way he's not going to bust out something new. That's how it's been for literally every single other boss fight. Oh, no. Okay. So that's it. That's really disappointing. Like, even Metal Sonic changed up his pattern and shit and threw out some gimmicks at you if you didn't kill him fast enough. Why is my artwork so small? <laughs> then he burns up and dies in the atmosphere. That's how they announced that no more Sonic the Hedgehog games are gonna be made. He falls from space! Tails catch him! Oh, he's burned up and dead. Well, isn't that horrifying? Guess there's no more Sonic! be a more dignifying end than allowing them to continue on with the style of games they've been making. <laughs> what actually is... Oh, Sonic Boom? I think that's actually... Isn't that what it's called? Probably gonna get... 
Didn't Capcom sue Tecmo Koei, now that I'm thinking about it? I think they did, actually. They're suing them over some vague-ass, uh... Um... Shit, what's it called? Uh, patent filing about, like... What, what? I can't remember what it was, but it was really stupid. Something that, like, every single video game in the history of video games has utilized. It had something to do with, like, character advancement or something like that. Just an absolutely retarded lawsuit, and I haven't heard anything from it since, and I should actually try and figure out. Let me... Why not Google that shit? Yeah, I was gonna say, Capcom's gonna sue for using Sonic Boom as Guile's attack, but now that I, like, actually think about it... Oh, here we go. Well, don't take all the results away! <laughs> like, it, it gave me a bunch of results, and then it was, then it, I, it just, they all went away! They all just went away! <laughs> Alright, so let's see. SNK filed a lawsuit against Square Enix, too? I don't know what SNK's is about, but let me see. Oh. According to the lawsuit, Capcom filed a patent back in 2002 that involves a function that lets you acquire new content by combining an existing game with another piece of software. So is that like, from what I get of that, that's, that'd be something like what Tails did. What, uh, you know, like, because you put, with the Tales of, Z Tales of Zillia 2 is the most recent example of this. Because you have completed save data on your hard drive for Tales of Zillia, you get this attachment. Because you have, uh, save data for Tales of Graces, you get like this costume, whatever. That would fall under that. It's absolutely retarded. I usually despise using that word because I mean there's plenty of words for stupid they can go around but there is nothing with the amount of punch there's no other word with the amount of punch to it that retarded has to describe this kind of lawsuit and the kind of lawsuits given out thrown out toward uh, video game companies by other video game companies for like patent infringement like you are preventing people from giving like there's no way this could be upheld of course it will, it probably will be, because they're gonna get a judge who's never played a game in their life and doesn't understand that that's just like... You can't... You can't enforce these kind of patents. This is why the patent system is stupid, is because it allows you to file shit for like the most vague, ridiculous things. And let's be honest, nobody at the patent office is gonna fucking understand the implications of those, those kind of patents that get filed. And so you're gonna get lawsuits like this, which are absolutely ridiculous. They're demanding the suspension of... They don't, they don't list which games, but yeah, I guess they're looking to, um, demand the suspension of, sh of certain... Say games that would fall under this anyway like that's just that's absolutely ridiculous and it's a fucking pitiful ploy to try and get to try and get money like Capcom as a company is floundering in the water right now everybody knows that they're they have been making games that have not been selling have not been matching what they spent to make them they've had terrible press and obviously this shit isn't going to be helping them so what was shit wait a minute hang on Square Enix Oh, no, no. SNK. SNK lawsuit? I want to see this shit. Verse. Here we go. Square. See, it did it again. It pops up a bunch of results. It's like, oh, okay, this is probably what you're searching for. No, I don't want to use Event Hubs. Event Hubs is a terrible, terrible website that will not give my. Will not let them get ad revenue off me. SNK and Square Enix are in a dispute. We don't mean in a friendly crossover fighter either. SNK recently filed a law. Oh, whatever. It appears that at Square Enix have infringed on numerous in intellectual properties of SNK through their popular manga called High School Girl, which is about which is about arcade gaming featuring various video game characters. That's act. That's not nearly as bad. While they don't go too far into detail about what exactly was used in the High School Girl manga, 
SNK Playmore claims that there were over 100 instances where characters from the King of Fighters and Samurai Showdown were used without consent. That, that is a valid, uh, that's a valid lawsuit if, if they actually did use these characters. Because that's like, that, you know, that's your intellectual property. That'd be like copy-pasting somebody else's game into your game and being like, oh, well, it's not the entire game. Like if uh, Project Gotham Racing, instead of having a Geometry Wars cabinet in your garage, it had like a Sonic the Hedgehog 2 cabinet in there. Like, you're gonna get fucked for that if you don't get pay Sega their due to allow them to use that. So that kind of shit, that's okay. But that kind of shit where you're like, you're lit this is literally an element of game making that has been in use for significantly longer than your patent has been around. And it's retarded of you to try and enforce that kind of shit. But they're gonna try, and I really hope they fail, and that sends a message that you can't file those kinds of lawsuits. Like, if you're, if you're legitimately stealing somebody's code directly from their own game, that's a different story. If you are, like, uh, SNK is claiming Square Enix did, stealing somebody else's designs, and, like, what they have physically done themselves, that is something for a lawsuit, and that is something that I will support 100%, because that's plagiarism, basically. And, you know, put in your own effort, make make good characters on your own time. Don't try and steal somebody else's just to try and make some money. Um, but yeah, with the, that patent infringement shit, it's retarded the kind of patents people have. Like, as far as I'm aware, there's actually a patent. Somebody owns a patent, I don't know who it is. But there is a video game company that owns a patent for that the uh, the shit that allows you to change your buttons on the character select screen like you can do in blaze blue like that hasn't been in a marvel i mean not a marvel that hasn't been in a capcom game and that's because you have to pay another company to be able to do that and that's fucking ridiculous it's absurd it's absolutely stupid that you're basically you're trying to make money or you're trying to make companies pay for them to make a good game that is convenient for players you're just trying you know you're just being greedy that's just pure greediness is what i'm seeing here and i really hope that this patent is not upheld because of that shit but anyway that is this is kind of weird for the end of a sonic the hedgehog 2 uh playthrough sonic the hedgehog 2 love it love it love it fuck metropolitan zone